Gotta get, gotta get the stats, Zage, as they say. Not really, but... It's a nice excuse to, like, play random hacks, see what folks are doing. Atari has been going pretty hard. I think he's got exams for a while, and then Eldad is out for a week. So some of us others are gonna have to pick up the slack, sort of. Yo, I'm a mole. I haven't played a lot of hacks where I'm not Mario. I wanna say two, Super Yoshi Land, I was Yoshi, and Super Pika Land, I was Pikachu. It's a blue terraformer. Should you get power-ups? Dude, Super Pika Land was wild as fuck. It's pretty much like that dude's other hacks. Like, fucking combo killer. It was really creative and had great ideas and great graphics. And then it turned to like batshit insane stuff towards endgame. It's an odd way to design hacks, I gotta admit. Speaking of Super Pika Land, it looks like I have the small one-tile hitbox even though I'm big and or have a fire flower, which is advantageous. Oh, this is solid. Safety show. Gotta get that bonus game. What's up, Pagio? Pika Land. You beat you beat Pika Land Vanilla, didn't you, Pagio? I think I watched you grind the final castle for a very long time. That was some bullshit. Dude, every time I spawn and level in this hack, I'm like, oh shit, there's a money mole right in the beginning. I should jump on him. And then I like press the jump button and No, it's just it's just my character. Intended here? Am I like out of luck if I if I despawn this platform? Okay, I can respawn it. I guess that's fine. Okay. 
spiders are historically and infamously weak against fire. I played the first level of Neverworld for a little bit. It's like Kaizo minus the tightness and minus the power-ups. The first level sort of qualifies as hard. Um, one of them is, one of the levels in that hack is, it looks like it's taken directly from a Kaizo hack that that dude submitted and got rejected by Eldad. This is an unethical sprite right here. Motherfucker. <laughs> Dude, imagine almost dying in a normal high. down there. What's up, Master Mars? Casual ROM hacks. There's that word again, casual. I assume by casual, what you really mean to say is just easy. If you scroll through my profile, I have a link to a spreadsheet with all the hacks I've played. They have difficulty rankings. What's up, Fed? Okay, that's the secret exit. Now I just have to go right to win. I could use a backup flower. There it is. Yo, I hope this cape has hack just so I can see like the mole, the cape, fly around. Probably doesn't have cape though. for I wonder bitch it's just an alternate round oh all right Got him.
I don't really like the term casual as applied to a hack. It's very non-descriptive. I've, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. When I think casual in the context of a video game, I think it's people playing like those smartphone games on the subway just to pass the time. I don't think of SMW in any capacity. Also, I just got both of my fucking fire flowers wasted due to that sprite because I don't have a working muscle memory of how he functions. God damn it. tell you if I knew. I don't know what that song is. Do I have to engage with the quicksand? Looks like I do. Yeah. <laughs> no. no. A blue coin. What does it mean? Why is it there? This has a secret exit, which I haven't seen any signs of yet, actually. Is it in this pipe? No. Hit jump, that's fucked up. Guess I gotta go back in and look for it. What's up, freaking huh? I think Sakari is hard. Also, thanks for the resub, freaking huh? Have you, have you checked the spreadsheet that I told you about? There's a link to it on the bottom of this Twitch page. Check it, it has recommendations. Most of it consists of non-Kaizo hacks. Dude, this sprite is gonna fuck me up every time I visit this level. all that's for. Who cares? What? Oh, how do you get the secret exit then? Okay, you have to go in there because you need the distance. Thousand ten hack style. <laughs> Wait, what? For fuck's sake! For fuck's sake, dude. Okay. All 
right. <laughs> so I win by virtue of playing fucking hacks from a decade ago because they do this shit all the time. Okay. All right. Charles. I've got my double flower back. I've noticed that I have a tendency to engage enemies when I don't need to, like when I could just run past them instead. And better players like Eldad just don't engage with them unless they really have to. I should probably try to adopt like that strat if I can. Because they die less than me. <laughs> Dude, this swimming animation. He's gonna fall? No. Sub-level for Lemmy, not off the top of my head, I would just go into Lunar Magic, which you of course can also do. Looks similar to 1 4 of Waluigi's Adventure. Don't see me. That's cool. I've never played that hack. Or video game. I don't even know if it's a hack or a video game. It's brand new content to me. Also, Yasi music. There we go. What's up, Glockham? I'm a mole. I should probably go do the, um, the 
other route. Since it looks like I'm approaching endgame here. These levels are enjoyable. It's a nice little normal difficulty hack. I like this so far. Here's hoping to not a fucking ghost house puzzle. Alright, I got I got two P switches. Where are we dropping? In here. Alright, I went the right way. That's good. There's a P-switch. What is it for? It's almost as though I didn't need to take the one that I have, but that's all right. I'll keep it anyway. Two fifty-five pipe. I don't know if this hack warrants that that kind of breakage, Pogio. I'm just going to use the one I have. Alright, not much in the way of a puzzle. Not that I'm complaining. Super Pika Land was hard. Um, the second reality project reloaded, yeah, was normal. That was a, a major fuck up. That shit got very hard. These are the vines. Spikes or anything though, because it's it's just a normal hack. <laughs> if this were any other hack, this would be some fucked up shit. Death everywhere. How do you get up here though? Oh, I didn't see this thing. Oh, 
Oh, there it is. There we go. Don't con how to defeat Clogger. Oh man, no checkpoint. Hope I can one shot this. Right, Glockham? I was saying, this is a pretty significant advantage. Having fire and being one tile man. It was the same in Pika Land, but it didn't prevent Pika Land from being just a super fucked up hack. What's that spike top? Doing over there, dude. Fuck this boss fight. The fucking timing that he throws his sprites at is god awful. Cause that that shit will happen all the fucking time. the lore that was that was the object of my rescue dude I think that was deathless I think that was a deathless playthrough of a ROM hack all right that was a nice little normal hack <laughs> 